SBI people, ako pong muli si Thea and welcome sa VGK. In today's video, our topic is all about the essential parts of computer. Tatlo, apat sa mga components na ating ide-discuss ay ang mga ikinoconsider ng mga computer buyers. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, uh, before I begin, I would like to shout out to uh, Kai Kai Pangilinan. Siya yung nagre-request na gumawa ng video regarding uh, ICT or Information Communication and Technology. So, uh, I would like also to shout out to Ace Bunny Ocampo, Villanueva, and Eric Celestino. Uh, hi sa inyong lahat. So, we are going to start about the essential parts of computer. Uh, so, ang essential parts of computer ay ang case, power supply, motherboard, CPU, hard drive, RAM, and the graphic card. So, ang computer case, also known as computer chassis, is the enclosure that contains the essential parts of computer. So, uh, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang mga case ay may mga butas na kung saan kailangan daluyan ng hangin dahil kapag ang computer ay uh, nag-work, uh, nag-cause ito ng heat. So, kailangan makasingaw yon. Ang power supply is a hardware component that supplies power to computer. It converts the AC to DC, which is what the computer required. Additional information lang to uh, regarding power supply. So, ang inyong laptop ay may battery sa loob. So, in case na mawala yung kuryente or mag-blackout, uh, hindi na mamatay ng kusa ang inyong laptop. So, may time pa kayo na ma-save ang inyong file na ginagawa or uh, to continue pa to work on. Pero kung uh, kayo ay may desktop, ang desktop ay walang battery sa loob. So, may nabibili na UPS. Uh, it stands for an interruptible power supply. So, kung ang inyong uh, computer ay desktop, you need to provide one. So, ang UPS, uh, doon yung isasaksak ang inyong uh, desktop. Para itong uh, rectangle box, ito ay uh, nag, uh, uh, nagiging uh, parang battery backup ng inyong desktop. So, uh, kung documents lang naman ang inyong ginagawa, so okay lang na hindi na bumili. Just make sure na laging naka... Uh, save ang inyong ginagawa from time to time para in case na mag-blackout, hindi mawala yung inyong documents na ginagawa. Pero kung ang inyong program ay mga AutoCAD, uh, mahirap kasing mawala yung files na ganon kasi mag input na naman kayo ng panibago. So, it is necessary to have one UPS. Motherboard, also known as a main board, or logic board is the piece of computer hardware that connect all parts of a computer together. So, sa kanya lahat nakalagay ng mga components ng computer para mag-work ito. Okay, ang CPU uh, stands for Central Processing Unit. It is the main processor responsible for carrying out all tasks or responsible for telling all other components in a computer what to do according to the instructions given by the programs or software running on that computer. So, isa ito sa uh, sinasabi ko sa inyo na dapat i-consider ng mga computer buyers. So, ang performance ng isang computer ay nakasalalay sa kanyang CPU. Uh, depende rin naman ito sa pangangailangan natin. So, ang, ang CPU ng aking computer right now, uh, yun lang yung kaya ng budget ko, is Intel Celeron. So, for me, as a uh, vlogger, hindi pa naman na ganun kadaming videos ang aking ine-edit. So, 
uh, okay lang muna sa akin yung Intel Celeron. It works well uh, according to what I need. But later on, kapag marami na akong tinatrabaho, I will buy uh, much greater than that. So, merong dalawang leading CPU manufacturer. Uh, yan ay ang Intel and AMD. So, Intel uh, CPU versions are depending on their speed. Okay? Yung sa, uh, I mean, uh, from Luma to the latest. So, on and on, uh, nag update sila ng kanilang generation uh, to give a much more better performance. Okay? So, uh, depende yan sa uh, year kung uh, kailan ginawa yung uh, CPU. So, uh, yan ay meron pa mga version before but I'm gonna start with Intel Atom, Intel Celeron, Intel Pentium and then yung Pentium marami siyang version din. Meron siyang Intel Pentium Pro, uh, Intel Pentium 2 and 3 and more. And then, uh, lumabas na rin yung Intel Core. And then, Intel Core 2. And then, yung i3, i5, i7, and i9. Meron pa, meron pa siguro akong na-miss. Uh, I think yung Intel Xeon. So, sa AMD naman, uh, ang kanyang versions or generations are Ryzen 3 Pro, Ryzen 5 Pro, Ryzen 7 Pro, and Ryzen Thread Reaper. Okay, so pwede nyo siyang i-google uh, for more information. And then, para makita nyo din yung mga uh, images, uh, how it looks like. Kasi konti lang yung sample ko on my end. Next is yung hard drive. So, ang hard drive ay isa din sa ikinoconsider ng mga computer buyers. Okay, so hard drive is a non-volatile memory. Kung ang CPU ay my generations, ganun din ang hard drives. Like Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment or yung PATA, Serial uh, Advanced Technology Attachment or SATA, Small Computer System Interface or SCSI, Solid State Drives or SSD, and then yung NVM Express. So, yung solid state drives, yan ang uh, hard drive na nakalagay sa mga computers na nabibili natin ngayon. Um, ang nakalagay sa aking laptop is SSD. So, uh, ang SSD ay uh, no moving parts. So, in that way, mabilis siyang mag-process uh, when it comes to pulling up a file from them. Okay. So, ang ibig sabihin ng non-volatile memory is kapag nag-shutdown ang power ng computer, uh, the data on your file uh, remains on that memory storage. While yung volatile memory, uh, the data is lost when you shut down your computer. Meaning, it temporarily stores the files you're working on. Okay, yung next is yung RAM. Okay, RAM stands for Random Access Memory, also called Temporary Data Storage or Volatile Memory. So, tatandaan nyo na yung hard drive is a non-volatile memory. Meaning, kahit wala na siyang power, nakukuha pa din ang data sa kanyang loob. While yung uh, RAM also uh, called temporary data storage is a volatile memory. Meaning, kapag wala na siyang power, nawawala din yung uh, data na, na nakastore sa kanya. So, yun ang kaibahan ng uh, non-volatile memory and volatile memory. So, you have to keep remembering that. So, ang similarity ng hard drive at RAM is they both stores data. But RAM has a uh, lower data capacity while hard drive has a higher data capacity. And because of that, RAM has a fastest access by the computer while the hard drive has a slower access by the computer. So, para din yung brain memory, 
ang uh, hard drive ay parang long-term memory and uh, ang RAM naman ay parang short-term memory. If you run a program on your computer, say for example, you created a document on Microsoft Word, uh, like resignation letter, ang ginagamit mong memory ay ang RAM. Now, after you finish that, the documents you are going to save it, uh, once you click on save, that files uh, save on the hard drive. So, yung last is yung graphic card. Okay. So, graphic card is responsible for rendering images or pictures to the display or yung sa inyong monitor. There are two types of graphic card. One is yung integrated graphic card and one is the dedicated graphic card. So, ano ba yung integrated graphic card? So, it comes with your CPU. On that way, its potential power is limited. Okay, so, uh, kasama na siya doon sa CPU na naka-attach uh, sa inyong computer. So, yun yung integrated card. Kapag sinabing integrated graphic card, meaning kasama na siya sa inyong CPU. Okay? While dedicated graphic card has its own PCB and memory, o yung VRAM, Video Random Access Memory. So, i-google nyo siya no, para makita nyo kung ano yung itsura niya. Meron siyang kasamang fan o yung kanyang tinatawag na cooling solutions. Kasi, uh, GPU siya or graphic processing unit. So, lahat ng CPU or GPU, uh, kailangan niya ng cooling solutions kapa, kasi kapag nag-work siya, uh, nagkukos siya ng heat. So, mag-burn siya kung wala siya ang cooling solution. Kaya, meron siyang uh, laging kasama na uh, cooling fan. Okay? So, kapag integrated, kasama na siya sa CPU ng inyong computer. So, yung CPU ng inyong computer, automatic, meron siyang cooling fan na kasama. Kasi kapag nga nag-work siya, nag -heat. So, kailangan siyang lumamig. Kaya, kailangan ng cooling fan. So, it helps computer uh, perform better. And it comes on videos, gaming, photo editor like Adobe Photoshop. Isa ito sa dahilan kung bakit may mga gaming desktop na mas mahal kumpara sa mga standard laptop and desktop. So, kung pupunta kayo sa internet cafe, itanong niyo sa may-ari kung magkano ang kanilang mga desktop doon. Mas mahal ito kesa sa mga standard uh, computer na ginagamit sa mga office or na mga individual sa kanilang bahay kasi ang uh, mga gaming computers ay mas nangangailangan ng uh, video graphic card dahil maraming details kasi yung mga gaming uh, gaming software na ginagamit ng computers so di, uh, hanggang dito na lamang po muna ang ating topic sana ay nakatulong ito sa inyong lahat and then napakarami pa nating dapat i-discuss uh, maybe this time uh, I can upload video once a week kasi nag-resign na ako sa trabaho para uh, makapag-upload ako ng videos ko and para hindi naman mabitin yung mga subscribers and viewers ko so please watch out for that so thank you for watching and watch out for more of my videos